Tuesday. How are we? How's everybody doing? So it's Wednesday. Um, yesterday we did legs, the day before that we did hit. So today we're going to do some upper body. Um, it's going to be a little bit full body in, but predominantly it's going to be upper body. There's going to be some new moves in here today. It's going to be super cool. But first of all, I want to have a word with the people who keep messaging me about the fact that the scales are not moving. I really want you to focus on not getting too um, bummed out by the scale not moving. Because honestly, it's not the scale that's going to predict what results that you're seeing. Before and after pictures, they show absolutely 100% where the changes are happening. Also, measurements. If you imagine that this, my size of my fist, is muscle, to weigh that amount, you would need probably this much fat. So although the scale might go down, muscle that you're making obviously is going to weigh a lot more. So the inches that you're losing, when you lose the fat, the muscle is going to build, the weight of the muscle is going to increase. So eventually as the fat gets less, the muscle builds, but as the fat goes, obviously the inches are going to go. So I really want you to focus on not getting too um, obsessed with the scale. Honestly, it does not show exactly the results that you're seeing. It will show that you're losing weight, but when you get to that point where you're plateauing and you can't see any more results, that's when you start to get bummed out. That's when you start to want to give up. And those moments where you want to give up because you're looking at the scale and you're like, this is rubbish. And they're the moments that people go, I'm going to eat less. I'm going to start eating less. I'm going to start reducing my calories. I'm going to start doing this. It's not about that. It's about the fact that when you're lifting weight, lifting, the muscle is going to outweigh the difference that you're losing. Measure yourself. Take pictures of yourself. That's the way. Look how you feel better. Look how your clothes fit you better. See how you feel. Look at the different muscles that you're using in your body. I promise you, the scale will do nothing. I mean, a lot of people do need the scale as a focus, and I understand that. But I don't want it to become that thing that almost like controls your life. Because when you're standing on it and it's not moving, it will ruin your day. Because you might have been good all week. You may have been on it all week and you've tried really hard all week. And look, you stand on the scale and nothing happens. But that doesn't mean that you haven't made a change. That doesn't mean that you haven't lost a centimetre maybe round your, your thighs. You may have gained muscle on your arms. You may have lost a little bit round your waist. You're not taking that into consideration. And so all you're doing is focusing on this number and this number is now going to make you feel rubbish about yourself. It's going to make you feel really bad about yourself because it's not moved. So then you think, sod it. I'm going to have a takeaway. I'm going to do this. Rubbish. It's not that. That's not, the number is not showing your progress. Honestly, just stay focused all the way through. Just keep going, keep pushing and measure yourself. That is the best thing you can do. Look at what size your clothes are. Look at where your clothes are fitting you different. And I tell you what, keep lifting as heavy as you can and keep pushing and eat right and you will see changes because you can't change your diet, start moving your body and not have a change happen. That's gonna be a happy accident of both of those changes that you're gonna make in your life. But it needs to be consistent. It can't be three days on, four days off. Four days on, three days off. It needs to be... So it needs to be 80%. You need to be making sure that you're not drinking as much um, as you normally do. Maybe just save a drink for like with a meal at the weekend. Are you going out every weekend? Are you eating a takeaway at once a week? These things have got to stop. But they're the things that are going to make those inches come off. They're the things that are going to make things change. So again, on the opposite, if you're standing on the scale and it goes up, that doesn't mean that you've put on weight. It doesn't, because if you're doing the right things, if you're working hard and you're lifting more, it probably is muscle. And you've just got to get through that plateau and it will come off. I promise you it will come off. You cannot change your diet, lift hard, work out. You cannot do all those things and not see changes. The only thing that's going to that's gonna spoil the progress is if you give up. That's it. If you lose patience in the journey, if you lose patience with yourself, if you 
become fixated on making this number that you have now seen your priority and if that det determines whether you're going to have a happy lifestyle or not, whether you're going to change your lifestyle, then that is where it's going to stop. That number is going to dictate everything. I can tell you that if you find something, like with HIT or whatever you do, you find something that moves you and you change your diet and you lead a healthy lifestyle, you will lose weight. Regardless of what that number says, you will lose inches, you will gain muscle, you will see changes. And it won't just be in that number. That number will move, but the changes are going to come in your clothes, the changes are going to come in your size, and not only that, you're going to feel better. So think about that. If you're one of those people who gets up in the morning, stands on the scales, taking off everything, standing naked and it's moved like a pound and you're really bummed out, I can guarantee a month ago if you took a picture of yourself and you took a picture of yourself this morning, if you've trained and worked hard, you will, your body will be different and you will automatically go, oh my god, that's amazing and you'll be proud of yourself with the results that you can see. This number doesn't dictate anything, so think about that. If you're bummed out right now, if you're a scale person, this is what I want you to focus on. I want you to focus on just getting your workout in, eating right, and every day just staying consistent. And don't worry about the scale. Honestly, the rest is going to happen. I promise. Are you ready for today's workout? Are you ready? So, today we're doing a lot of upper body. Um, I wanted to tell you about our strength package because we've been doing a lot of strength work, so we've been lifting a lot more, me and Sean. The strength package is awesome. It's going to include all of the weights, the bar, the challenger, the vest. So if you're looking to include this into your home gym, the link is above this video. So you just need to click that awesome deal on at the minute. So make sure that you head there, click that, and you can get all of the equipment that we use. But today we are going... Hmm... To train hard we're going to do upper body um there's going to be a little bit of advanced work but i'm going to show you an alternative for it um 50 seconds on with a 10 second rest as we always do um happy wednesday everybody it is officially hump day but we did our hump day yesterday are you ready hello before and after photos are the key see it's not just me saying this this comes honestly with experience that's all this comes with the more you train, the more you get to know, the more you learn, the more you'll understand just that scales don't di di dictate anything, honestly. They don't. They'll show a weight loss, yes, but if you're looking to build muscle, muscle weighs more than fat. So, kind of weighs it out. The scales are not going to be your friend in that case. So, it's not going to give you a good representation of just how hard you're working, so please. Teresa says start already, so we're starting already. So, you <laughs> I have to let people know and give them a minute to put the trainers on. Just five minutes, that's all I give you. So, the first exercise that you're going to do, you're going to warm your body up. You're going to start with jumping jacks. That's going to be your first 50 seconds. I want to get your body nice and warm. I want your arms nice and warm. I want you to concentrate on really opening and closing your arms. I really want you to loosen up. So, that's going to be your first 50 seconds. I'm going to take the second 50 seconds. Wednesday, are you ready? <sighs> are you ready? Three, two, one. So you're gonna start with the jumping jacks. Let's go. I'm gonna start with the second exercise. Seven, six, five, four. You're gonna start with jacks and then you're gonna do what I'm gonna do. So you're gonna come down, lift up, down, lift up. So. You're going to go down, lift up to your shoulders. So take the weight right to the floor, lift them up. Down, lift them up. Working shoulders, working abs, working legs. Big muscles. Down. 25, push. Come on, warm that body up. Down. You've got this. Awesome job. 13. 10, 9, 7, 6. All upper body today. 3, 2, last one. So that's your first move. Your second move is coming up. Now you can do this on a board or you can just jump back. I'm going to show you an alternative. So you are going to jump the board and then you're going to do a push up. Come in. Jump up, jump back, come, push up, come in, jump up. Now, if you don't have a board or anything you can do this on, you're gonna just jump back. You're just gonna do a push up and a jump, but try to do it. Down, in, down. Come on, 
you on those one. Are you ready? <clears throat> yes, I'm ready, Lisa. So this time, I'm gonna come down into a Y. <sighs> Working shoulders. Working chest, legs. <sighs> come on. <clears throat> Using them legs to get that heart rate up there. <sighs> down. Down, come on, push. Come on, keep going, keep pushing. Working hard today, upper body. Push, keep going, get your abs in. Time. So, you're gonna come down, drive up, make a big Y, okay? Keep pushing. The next one after that. Again, you can do this with a board or without a board. You can just do the push up. Triceps. Come in. Come in. Jump up. Now, I want you to try and get a little bit of speed on this. Triceps. the best you can stay pushing stay motivated just keep going so we've worked side lats we're not gonna do front so come down up so you're gonna come up to your chest take it down up hold it right at that chest line slight bend in your elbows gonna feel this all in your chest all in your shoulders push you got this 13 seconds come on stay with that spider eight five three that's one very very important when you get to here 
slight squeeze in the chest. So squeeze up there. Really think about mind to muscle. Squeeze it, take it down, squeeze it, okay? That's what I want from you. That's what I want you to do, okay? Yes, Lisa, okay. This time, make sure you can see me. You're doing those ones, and then you're doing this one. Push down, lift up, push down. This is all chest and shoulders right now. Yeah, guess. Now you can triple floor if you wish, but I hope you don't. gonna know so hello are you ready this time it is on fire everything's on fire just raise up take it down raise up now advance people raise up out and down raise up out and down Your shoulders should be on fire. Believe me when I tell you. Okay, so I'm gonna up my weight a little bit. So this time, you're gonna come down, one, come up, down, one, come up. So bicep curl, sit down, bicep curl, come up, down, time, come on. Stay with those, out and downs, that's what you should be doing. And then you're doing a static squat hold with a bicep curl, working big fat burning muscles in the static hold which are your quads. Getting down there, working those biceps. Working one side more than the other. Come on, 10. Four, three. Ooh. Are you gonna join me? You're on squat and bicep with me. Let's go. So wide legs. Ready for straight, but that board is in the way. Wide legs, let's go. So wide-ish, squat down, bicep curl, come up. Using one side, holding the static. You've got this. All upper body with a lower body static hold. Loads. Fat burning muscles today, going in. Strength, this is what you asked for yesterday. We did legs yesterday. So today, we're keeping the legs going so we can see some positive changes. Adding in those statics, adding in that upper body. 10, oh, and legs are on fire. Seven, five, one more, three, four. Oh, that's horrendous. How's that feel? How does that feel? Let's go. So this time, squat down, open up. Squat down, open up. So this time, when your knees together, squat down, open up. Now, if you need to bring the weights here, do it. But try to bring them in front of you. Open up that chest, open up those flies. Work in the squat differently. Oh wow. Try to keep a slight bend in the elbows. So basically in a front squat with the weight on the front. Keep going, eight seconds. Three, two, your chest should be on fire. Yes, it should. 
If it isn't, we've got problems. Are you ready? Oh, Lisa. Let's go. Squat down, pause, and hold that bicep curl. So, you're gonna do it for four, then you're gonna come up, go back down, pause. Two, three, four, hold that static, come up. So you're on that chest fly, and then you're doing this next. Three, four, come up, make sure that your back is flat, your abs are in, your knees aren't going over your toes. Go, four, three, two, last one. Oh, come on, you got this, let's go. I've got it, so you've got it. Four, three, two, oh, one, two, last one. So, we're gonna squat down, hold the squat, and then you're gonna drive up, working that bicep. This is not easy today, but I promise you, you've got this. This time, squat down, jab, jab, squat down, jab, jab. Make sure that you're not smashing your elbows. Jab, jab. Come on. So the weighted vest is making you work hard. The squats are keeping your heart rate up there. Down. 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 Come on. Time. So they're for you. Those ones are for you. Squat. I'm taking the next one. Are you ready? Are you ready? I know you're not, but if you've got a board, you're gonna do it. On the floor, one push up. Come in, jump the board, jump over, down. Now, if you don't have a board, you're just gonna do a burpee push up, okay? But I wanna try and get some plyo into this workout. Come on, let's go. I'm 35. That's how old I am. I'm 35. Oh, let's go. Squat down, uppercut. So you can imagine that you're hitting somebody in front of you on the chin. Down. Down. Come on, get that push up. Then you're doing this one, which is gonna be a lot nicer than the one you're doing right now. But it's still gonna push you. 15. Down. Seven. Oh. Three. Two. Get out of breath, you're working. Shorts keep pulling up. Okay. Let's go. This time, one arm, heavy weight. You're on the uppercut, and then you're doing this one. Shoulder press. Come on, push. I really want a better weight than the little ones we just used. Push yourself, one side. 24, you're awesome. You're doing great. All upper body today. My shoulders are on fire. Stop swearing at me. I know. 10. Seven. Five. Uh, two. Oh, good news. I'm halfway done. Bad news. 
You've got to join me. Let's go. Ha ha ha, you've got to join me. I didn't mean that to sound so horrible. I'm halfway. So again, you're gonna find one side. It's gonna be easier than the other. Pull that oblique in at the top. Come on. You should have a decent weight because your muscles have got to work. They've got to fatigue. 20. Oh, my bum cheeks after yesterday killing me. 13. 10. to do. I hear you. Back. Let's go. Let's get some back involved. So you're going to plank it out. Try not to slip when you sweat. But you're going to row. But you're not just going to grow up and down. You're not just going to row up and down. You're going to row forward as if you're turning on one of those really old fashioned lawn mowers. Okay? That's what I want from you. So come right down. Drive it back. How are you doing? Let's go. This time, bent over flies, you're doing the other plank because we work together. This time, bent over flies. So you're gonna make a straight body line, you're gonna bend over and then you're gonna drive it out. Okay, so bend over, make a Y, bend over, using your back muscles. I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see that with your back. I don't want to see that. That's not your arms doing the work, that's your body doing the work. Get your abs in, drive it back, drive it up, drive it back, feel those muscles in your shoulder blades doing the work. Ten, five, three, I can't describe to you. I cannot describe to you how much I'm sweating. Upper body. Daniel did leg yesterday. Believe me, we definitely did leg yesterday. So you're on the other side, you're on rows with a Y. I'm taking shoulder press. So this time you come down, lift up, come up. So working that shoulder joint. Again, not swinging the body. Up, down, up, down body today people up 20 so really make sure that you're holding and you're not using a weight that's gonna make you do this I don't want to see that I don't want to see that hold it control turn it bring it down your shoulders should be on fire six three two that's one okay that one's yours 
I'm taking the next one. <laughs> never ends. It never seems to end. So your next one, you're doing those flies. Your next one after that is your lunge and press. Just keep them with those legs, getting them legs working. Keep them with that shoulder press. Down, 30. Come on, work. Finish it off. I know your shoulders are tired. I know they are. I know they are. Mine are as well. But you've got to see it through. Just drop the weight if you need to. But try not to. Try to work full body. Eight. Four. Two. So. You ready? Don't worry, I'm not looking glamorous either. Susie, head to bodyrock.tv, start with the beginner's challenge or head to sweatflix.com. That's where all of our workouts are. Let's go, you're on one side, I'm on the other. Legs, shoulders. Or you can join me every day, Susie, on here. And just do the best you can for as long as you can. Even if it's twice a week. Even if you only get two reps, that's all I want. I just want you to try. 20, come on. I know your shoulders are fatigued. I know they are, I'm right here with you. I'm, I'm doing it with you. So stay with me, stay focused. Get down, come up, we train together. We don't quit. I'm even slipping on my own sweat right now. Four. Oh. Okay. So you're on the other side. Let's go. Oh, that's good. That's all I want. This time, squat down, drive up, squat down. So under, but you're gonna turn your weights this way, you see? They're not straight, they're like this, and we're working differently. Come down, drive it up. You're not gonna come all the way up. You're just gonna come to where you feel it, in the back of the arms. Keep your head looking down. Wow. Feel that. On the quads, on the back. Now, if you're finding that it's too much to do the, um, the squat as well, just stay with the back work, but make sure that your palms are facing away. Okay? Seven. Three. So you're gonna feel that right in the middle of your back just there. So when you drive up, squeeze right in the back, okay? Squeeze those together. You're doing awesome, let's go. Around the world is after this, so you're gonna come all the way around, take it down, lift it up. Oh, this one is your last one for your shoulders and your arms, and this is gonna burn. So you do a nice big circle, slight bend in the elbows, come up, Forward, not rocking. Come up, don't rock. Come round. Let's go up, forward. 23, down, round. Up, down, up. 15, up, down. 10, doing awesome. Five, two, last one. So that's your last one. That's your last one for back. So we're gonna do a little bit of triceps. Good. We're doing triceps. So you're gonna do that one for your around the world, and then you're doing some triceps, okay? With me, so you're gonna come off the back of the board. Oh god. You're probably gonna feel that in your shoulders, so prepare for that. Oh that ho that's horrible. So if this is too much for you, this is your alternative. Take your weight, put it above your head. And then you're gonna either stand up and go down, making sure your elbows stay in. And you're gonna drive up using the triceps, okay? Don't look at the elbows. Really concentrate on lifting up like that. So everyone else, you're gonna take it off the board and you're gonna go up and down. And this is gonna feel pretty horrendous on those shoulders, but you can do it. Let's 
let's go. So you've got two rounds of tricep dips. The further you have your legs out, the harder this is. Pick which way you want to do it, whether you want to do it off the board, over your head, whichever way you're happy. 30. Anybody else's arms killing? Oh my god, my arms are killing me. 27. Oh, no, no good. I'm gonna take it and change it. Oh, shoulders are on fire. Oh, Tricepsicles. Oh, oh. 10. Burning out those triceps. Four. Two, oh. Good news, you've only got one more lot of triceps to do. So, bad news, you've got one more. So, let's get it done. I've done it so you can do it. Are you ready? So I, I finish on what you started on. Let's go, triceps for you. Burn them out. Let's have it. Oh God, even that hurts. Everybody that's gonna be blow drying their hair tomorrow, or washing the hair, and you're cursing me, I apologize. 25, come on. Don't, don't, don't neglect your triceps. Come on, we did legs yesterday, you gotta get that upper body in. 10. So, what did we do today? Let's just have a recap. We've done chest, we've done biceps, we've done shoulders, we've done traps, we've done lats at the back of our arms. So basically we've worked all up, but we also added the legs in. So we added that squat in, because a squat is gonna be our cardio, so that's gonna get our heart rate going, which is why, um, why does this go, how does this go, I never get tired? I don't know how, I just, uh, I just love it. I love doing what I do, I guess. So, hmm. So, the only thing we have to work, <laughs> the only thing we haven't worked is our abs. So, do you wanna finish off with a couple of abs? Um, I think that'd be a good idea because that's the only thing we haven't done. So, um, I'm gonna bring you down to the floor. Actually, we'll do some standing abs today. How about that? I think that's an awesome idea. So, what you need is one lightweight, one heavy weight, and that's what you that's what you need, okay? So, you can keep your vest on if you wish, or you can take your vest off, it's entirely up to you. Um, I'm gonna keep mine on because all it's gonna do is add resistance. So the heavier that at the ex, each exercise is, the harder I'm working, so that's how this is gonna work. So, we'll do some standing abs today. So, our first one, you're gonna put one heavy weight in one hand and one lighter weight, lighter, not dead light, lighter weight um, in the other hand, and we're gonna do some side obliques, we're gonna do some twists, um, we'll do uh, we'll do loads of cool stuff. So we'll have a little bit of a, and also I like to do a bonus at the end mainly because it's a nice cool down. It gets your heart rate back. Um, so let's do it. You got ten seconds. So one lightweight, one heavy-ish weight. So a decent weight. So this is how this is going to look. You're going to go down to the side and lift this small weight up. So go down, lift. Go down, lift. So big wide legs. Wide legs. I don't like it in the side because you can't see my body. Drive it down. Drive it down, lift it up. Drive it down, lift it up. So the added resistance is going to help you. So straight body line. All the way down. All the way up, okay? So heavy, light. Come on, push. You should start to feel it about now. <clears throat> 10, 9, 5, 2, last one. Stay there. We're going to do the same side again. How's that feel? So, this time, go really far down. Raise this one up, squeeze, and then bend a little bit this way this time. So, now we're a bit looser. Bend it a little tiny bit that way. So, work that side as well. 
control it, squeeze, control, squeeze. So, predominantly working one side, but then add that little tiny counter bend on the other side, lift. Now you're gonna feel it in your shoulders because you're working your shoulder by lifting this. But try to use the weight to really get down. Now you might be able to get further than me, that's fine. Reach as far down your leg, which is comfortable, or your body's in a straight line, that's all I want. Seven, four, two, last one. So we're gonna change sides. So, change sides, you're gonna come up, and then hold up, squeeze those obliques, okay? Let's go. Let's go, my little angels. So you're gonna go down, lift up, down, lift up. So I'm not going as far the other way on the first go, because I wanna make sure that I'm working as hard as I can one side, and then I'm gonna add that counterbalance. But I need to make sure that you're not leaning forward, leaning back, you're in a straight line, and you're just going down the side of your leg, lift up, down the side of your leg, lift up. 20 seconds. Really control it. Squeeze, control. Squeeze, control. 10. Three. Two. Last one. So this time, we're going to counterbalance with that little tiny counterbalance. So you're going to come all the way down, and then when you get to this side, just squeeze it a little bit that side, okay? Are you ready? Let's go. Down come up a counterbalance, down, come up with a counterbalance. I've undone my vest, you don't have to undo it, but I've just undone it just so I can move a little bit easier. I'm still using the vest weight to add resistance. Come on, you've certainly got this, 20 seconds. Oh, this is hurting now. 18, squeeze. This is, your, this is your burnout. If you've not seen what we've just done, we've just done all upper body. And this is the burnout to get that heart rate down. Three, two, last one. Are you ready? So this time, grab a weight that's a decent weight that you can hold out. Now remember we've worked our shoulders, so your shoulders are gonna burn a little bit. You're gonna hold it out, keep your hips really straight on, might need to fasten my vest for this one. And all you're gonna do is twist to one side, to the center, twist to the other. Now notice my head is in line, my hips are in line, my body's straight on. The only thing that's moving is the twist in the middle of my obliques and my abs. Now you might see people do this in the gym with a, with a, um, uh, a rope, uh, what do you call it, cable, that's it. Try and keep it to your belly button line. And all you're gonna do is twist, round, twist. Come on. Breathe. Really hold the squeeze there, hold the squeeze there. We're gonna do it again, but this time I really want you to concentrate on that squeeze this side, middle, that squeeze this time, middle, okay? Concentrate, mind to muscle, that's where it's at. Also the isometric squeeze, hold in the center. Hold in the center. Tuck your bum under, slight bend in the knees, nice and tall, round, center, round. Now, your arms might be giving up before your abs, perfectly normal. You might not be feeling this, okay? You will do tomorrow, I promise. It's one of them ones that even if you don't feel it, you're definitely gonna feel it tomorrow. And you might be feeling it on your bicep because you're holding the weight. That's perfectly normal as well. Come on. Come on. Two more after this and then we're done. I didn't realize I did that then. For those of you that didn't know, when it gets hard for me, I'll close my eyes and I'll shake my head like telling myself not to stop. <laughs> I just did it then. So this time, lightish weights. One hand goes up, this hand stays in the center, come down, bring it up. 
come down, bring it up. So keep this hand in the centre, come down, bring it up. Now, if you don't feel this on your obliques that we just worked, then I don't know what to tell you because my obliques are on fire. Now, you might not be able to go down very far. I can't. That's perfectly fine. You might be able to go awesomely to the floor. Awesome job. Do that. But as long as that weight stays in the centre, that's what I want. I'm not kidding you. My obliques are killing me. Oh, what? <sighs> Breathe. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. Oh, my Lord. Nice wide legs. Down you go. Oh, Lisa Marie. Come on, go down. Now, you probably feel more flexible one side than the other. You'll notice I'm not as flexible this side, but I don't care. All I want you to do is go down as far as you feel it in those obliques. Go down as far as that and then squeeze up. Don't you just come up. You go down, squeeze, squeeze it up. Go down, use your abs to lift that weight up. Down, use your abs to lift that weight up. Oh God, I hate myself right now. So, oh, it's making me lose my breath. Oh, that doesn't happen very often. And relax, okay. One more exercise, just to get our, just to get our back nice and loose. You're gonna come down and then you're gonna drive it back. Take it down. So, slight bend in the knees. All we're gonna do is just loosen off our back. Take it down, bring it back. This is our last 50 seconds. Just working into the back. Take it down, down. So, just loosening off the back. Slight bend in the knee. Look at me, I don't want this, I don't want this, and I don't want rounded shoulders like that. Get your shoulders back. Nice and tall. I don't care if this is, I don't care if all you can do is that. I don't care. Just loosen off the back. Really nice and controlled, nice and slowly. Working through the hips. It's a nice light weight. It's just gonna give us a bit of mobility. It's not rushed. It's just to mobilize the joints. Oh, and you're done. That's it, we are done. Day. <laughs> but I decided to do upper body instead, clearly. So we have worked tricepsicles, biceps, abs, chest, legs, uh, back, lats. We have done full body really, but predominantly we've done a lot of shoulders, we've done a lot of chest. I worked you a little bit of um, triceps. It's a small muscle, so I didn't want to do too much because I don't want you burning out. Um, again, all of these extra things, all of these extra things that we add, like the weights and the challenger bars and the vest, all adds strength, all adds resistance. So if you want to see where you can get this, so you can join me every day, it'll pay for itself. There's me, Sean, Kelsey, Christelle Walker, um, Emily, uh, Melissa, all of those, and new people come in all of the time. Shush, Jim. New people come in all of the time to do workouts with you um, on this page. So it's going to pay for itself. You can work out anywhere in the world. We've shown this. Um, Sean took it to Los Angeles. Well, we, we all did. We took it to Los Angeles. Took it to Venice. We took it to Rome. I've taken it to Spain. You can take this equipment everywhere. So there are no excuses. If it's about making time for you. These workouts are 30, 40 minutes long with me every single day. They're going to work you hard. They're going to push you out of your comfort zone. You don't have to worry about going to a gym. If you're feeling intimidated, you can start at home. You don't have to have people watching you. You can have your own little world in your own little room. Put your music on and just follow along with me. I train real time, so we work out together. So you're never not going to know what you're doing next because I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to give you alternatives. For those of you that have just seen me, you don't know who I am. Um, we're bodyrock.tv. We do free workouts on the Facebook page like this every single day. We also have sweatflix.com, which is full of intermediate, beginners, advanced, Pilates, yoga workouts that you can do. Um, you can head there, sweatflix.com, and all of our workouts are there, and you can train with us every single day, doing a different workout every day.
loads of really experienced core trainers, um, loads of different styles of workouts. So if I'm not your bag, I'm not your cup of tea, it's absolutely fine. There's loads of people there that are very different in styles. Um, so you can find your trainer, find your rhythm, and you can just start and get, get fit and get in the best shape of your life. So people keep asking what I'm drinking. It's just juice. It's that's all it is because what I find that if I have a little bit, a tiny bit of juice in my water, it keeps my sugar levels nice and high so I can, <laughs> it stops me from dipping, it stops me getting that dip. Normally I have a cup of tea so the caffeine is normally the thing that, that keeps me um, going. Thank you Grace, that's really nice. Um, so normally the caffeine is, is there on hand. I don't have any sugar in the tea but the caffeine does, I don't know what it is, it's always been a thing. Since I was 16 I've always had a, a cup of tea when I'm working out or something that's got some kind of sweetener in it because I don't know mentally I just think it's a mind thing it just makes me feel like I'm just I can just do anything <laughs> so um yeah that's probably my secret it's like if I can just have a bit of juice because it tastes almost like sweet it, it just gives me a bit of a kick I don't know so yeah so that's all it is um no it's just sugar free it's just sugar free juice just like juice so so random how people want to know Nothing exciting. I'd like to say there's a magic drink that you can all drink, but unfortunately, that doesn't happen. But if you do want to know what I eat, if you want to know what Sean eats, if you head to bodyrock.tv, we wrote a guide there, and it's all in that guide. So you can pop there, follow our diet plan, follow the diet, join in the workouts, and honestly, before you know it, you are going to see the best shape of your life. It's, for here in the UK, it's coming towards winter, so why not just take the winter off then invest it in yourself, get the gear, get the diet plan and just work hard all the way through the winter and get ready for next summer. Because I'm going to be here every day, Sean's here every day, we love training with you, we're so happy that you join us every day. And um, if you do like this, like and share us so we can make sure that we can keep bringing you this. Because obviously you guys are the ones that keep this going by liking us and sharing us. Um, so you'll never, you'll never appreciate just how important a share is to us. Um, so if you can do that, that's awesome. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. High fives. Make sure you tag us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, um, tag us on Facebook, and um, we will like and share and tag you right back. <laughs> Wednesday's over. It's done. Awesome job, everyone. I'm really proud of you today. High fives. Hi, everybody in the office.